Do we know if uh, Howland is coming back to the absolutes or no? I think he's, he's, he's not. got his t-shirt on standing on the left. I think he's done. This is if probably If was here, he would have told him you're going absolutes. And let's see here. Both guys kind of get set. Middleson's a very jumpy, jittery style yeah, uh, is, uh, competitor. I've noticed that about him in a lot of his matches. He's very active, very jittery, very kind of agitated when he comes out of the gate, you know. See, see how he turns that. And Fortuna's kind of the opposite. He's yeah. kind of like super calm and stoic. Both guys working for the grips. Nate almost looks like he's fighting. This is... How much of a size difference do we have here? This is something that you see in Nathan Mendelson. You see it, uh, me and... Me and uh, Ryan Murphy, Master Hyan Murphy, black belt over with us with Crosley Gracie. We talk about, you know, when you're young and you're a wrestler, you have all this nervous energy. You're doing all this extra movement, moving side to side, jumping in your mats, you know, fake stepping, moving your hands around, all this extra stuff, just wasting energy. And you see the difference, you know, that <laughs> older guys, they just tend to stay and stand their ground and then they move when they need to. <laughs> I think that's the case, but I don't always think like a, a guy like Nate Middleson has been doing jiu-jitsu for a long time. He's been competitive. Sometimes that's a weird strategy guys use to try to offset you. Uh, uh, the thing about a guy like Marcel is he's not jumpy at all, so you're going to have a hard time making him react to your jumpiness. Right. You know I, mean, I mean, like gestures aren't going to do it. <laughs> not at you all. Know, that, but that's what I mean. I'm different. Yeah. Like, somebody who's like seasoned and somebody who's like a young dude who's just trying to figure this game out still. I mean, he is a black belt, and he's been at it for a long time, but he's, he's still a newer black belt, and he's still, he's not a season, and you can see the difference. One's more calm, the other one's, uh, you know, got a lot of nervous energy. Still got a 0-0 zero, zero score. Fortuna dra was dragging him back to the middle there for a second. Yeah, he had nice uh, double sleeve control. Seven minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. Absolute zero on that four. Diego Herzog back there uh, as a second referee. That's the second time he came, he came in for that kind of inside trip there where he kind of goes arm drag. Trip. I wonder if he's going to do the, uh, the Noah <laughs> setup. The Noah? Yeah, he might. Yeah. The Noah setup is when you go for a right side Osotogari and then you switch to left side without changing your grips. He's done a pretty good job at Does that, it. He gets everybody in competition. We're talking, of course, about Tim's son, Noah Freeman. He's 10. Who, <laughs> who got yeah, a gold who, medal yesterday. Who, yeah, he won, his, he won his division yesterday. Pretty happy to have that guy on our team. He's, he's a pretty good kid, and he's uh, jiu-jitsu has actually changed him quite a bit. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a couple gold medals, medalists in the family, but unfortunately uh, I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won gold at that Disney Still tournament. Fighting for the yeah, groups here. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we had a we had a kid ask about a Di the Disney medal yesterday, and I told him a pretty big story. So he's supposed to ask you about it oh, fantastic. on Monday. And let's see uh, see how this match goes down here. Both both guys are they're, they're both working, but nobody's over committing to anything at this point. Well, ten minutes is a long time. And as Six soon as I say left. that, Marcel jumps guard. Six minutes left, Matt four, absolute zero still. We'll see how Nathan Mendelssohn's base can stand up to uh, Marcel's long and strong guard. Marcel's got a good closed guard too. He's got a good open guard too. He's just a dangerous dude. He's just, just good at jujitsu. What I share in common with Marcel Fortuna is that we are oversized dudes and we both drive tiny cars. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I'd like to point out, too, that uh, the last time we saw Nate was one of the, I think it was one of the first times he had competed at Black Belt. 
And he, got, um, he didn't have a very good performance, but he's came back really strong here today. Yeah, I think he got put to sleep by Julian yeah. Marquez, who's yeah. uh, Marcel's teammate at Hop Grace. All right. So he's really gone back to the drawing boards and came back stronger. Well, the backstory was that Nathan had just flown in from what? Brazil. Brazil. He was in Brazil and he was sick. So he had literally just gotten off a plane and came in and competed he and, also was, had a, and was sick. He also had uh, stitches in his head that he just had removed. He had a fresh, like... <laughs> ready to reopen scar on his head wow yeah. what a scramble so you know people were like oh that's an excuse but look at him. he's fresh and he's rested and he's trained and he's actually putting on a way better he's performance this time. Butt here today and Blazinski gave fortuna two points on that wow that may have been a strategical error on Mendelssohn's part to try to stand up because he stood up into a situation where fortuna was able to grab his leg and put him back down and got takedown points for it you know what I'm saying, Master, Mer Master Mernest? Word up, son. Look at he's doing a really good job. You see the high level, high level game. I like to see guys at the high level use very basic self defense in competition because you know sometimes you get students that uh, they're like, eh, I want to learn like flying triangle. I'm like, no, 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 this is all important. So you see Nate doing a really good job of uh, using his guard proactively to hold down uh, Marcel, a much bigger opponent. And it was like what you would call a punch block series for just a moment. He's opened up a little bit so he can try to get a sweep going, be a little bit more proactive. And Marcel looks like he split, got the, got the guard open. Nate's going to try to transition to an open guard. He's got that front grip on the pants. And let's see what he's going to play for here. Maybe Marcel's doing a good job of not letting Nate set up any kind of De La Hiva or get a hook on him. Look at how he's doing a really, he's doing a really good job of keeping his knee and elbow connected there on the right side, so it's making it hard for Nathan to weave that leg in onto, the, onto Diego's hip via his arm. At the same time, he's shutting down that left side butterfly hook. It's a lot of pressure. I mean, there's nothing really for Nathan to do but be patient and hope that he opens up like he just did so he can move positions, you know? We see Nate starting to scramble a little bit from the bottom here, looking for something. And this is a tricky spot for both guys because uh, you can put yourself in a bad spot if you're the guy on top here, and at the same time, you can get your guard passed if you're the guy on bottom. It's the in-betweener spot. Well, this is a real competitive match. No way. This play could still go either way. Yeah, uh, Fortuna's got two points, but... Yeah, two points ain't no thing. No. He's got two minutes and 37 seconds to make up that deficiency, and uh, that can just be, you know, one mistake on Fortuna's behalf. Absolutely. And then we'll be, then we'll be back two to two, and then what? And then what'll happen? Then what? I don't what? think Fortuna makes very many mistakes, though. Um... The only person who went without making mistakes is JC. And uh, Marcel is just a man. So all it takes is that one glimpse. And uh, Nathan don't, to recognize it. Don't bet on it. He's doing a good job of keeping his head in tight. You see how he tried to, Nathan tried to weave in that, that leg. Do you mean JC Chavez from the Backstreet Boys tying on to your Lance Bass reference from earlier today? Dude, I can't believe you got that. Yeah, I did. Oh, come on, guys. Awesome. Nice job, Ernest Mello. Back streets, back all right. <laughs> 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 and uh, it looks like Nate picked up an advantage, so if he can get himself a yeah, sweep. Yeah, let's stick to jiu here. If he can get himself a sweep or get himself a two points, then uh, he can go ahead. Boy, man, what a tough 10-minute battle. Well, eight minutes thus far. Why is jujitsu so hard, Ernest? <laughs> that, because that, <laughs> that's uh, what I want Stella to ask the people right after the match. Yeah. Why is it so hard? Why, know, why are you breathing so heavy right now? Yeah, why are you so tired? Why are you sweating? You're gross. You didn't even do anything. You just laid there with that dude. You're so sweaty. Which You're is gross. weird in itself. Okay, let's see Nate Middleson here. He, uh, he needs some get points. Some points, man. Does Fortuna pull guard or does he push ahead? 
He's pushing ahead so far. A highly motivated Fortuna and aggressive Fortuna is wow. is a scary thing. Yeah. Look at Nate. <laughs> nice. nice. He dumped him on his head on that one. Let's oh, see if he's yeah. going to get that takedown. And, and he does. turning it up right now. This he's is what we call in the hood catching fade. Yeah, he's catching it. <laughs> And look at he's gonna look pass. at I love that little diagonal grip. You see how he has that right hand on the opposite collar and he's yes. dumping his elbow there, making it wow. really hard for Mendelssohn to turn into him or away from he's him. He's really turning it it's up. Tons now. of he pressure. Smells blood like and a shark. Nate is in trouble now. He's got that half back position. Yeah. If he pulls that collar with his right hand, if he pulls him over to his right side, he'll be able to get that left hook in and get four more points, making it eight to zero right now. It is four to zero. Tied 1-1 one one in advantages with 45 seconds left on mat four. Yeah, this is an amazing matchup here with Nate Mendelson. He's a longtime Claudio Francis student, went from white belt to black belt. And uh, he is down on points right now to Marcel Fortuna, who's a well-known how What a way to fight back to your feet. Student at a oh, second. Oh, 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 go, 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 do Flying it. Flying armbar attempt Dang. and almost got it on Nate Dang. Mendelson. That's a Hail Mary right there. That he almost nice. got it, man. That's what you actually have to do in this kind of situation. You have to go for it. He almost caught him slipping, homie. That was close. And it looks like Fortuna's probably going to hang on for the win. Exciting match wow. nonetheless. Fortuna really turned it on at the two-minute mark there and ended up with the takedown to kind of put the match out of reach. Nice job. Very nice job on that. Another excellent performance. Good job Marcel with uh, Nate Mendelssohn's behalf, too, man. He's did a really good job. Marcel Fortuna, he's no cupcaker, man. He comes and he brings know. it. You see how at the end he just turned up the heat. And, uh, you know, Nathan could have easily freaked out and got tapped out, but he didn't. He held yeah. his own. And the score is, you know, only 4-0. Nice. Good job, both guys. Very nice work.